hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this headphone um, beanie uh, i have already made one which is this one i have made this one and uh, i will make this one on camera i will show you guys how to crochet this it's very simple and easy to crochet even if you know if you are just new to crochet and if you know just the basics of the crochet only the double crochet and chains and front post back post double crochet and half double crochet you can easily make it this is how it looks and um, it's very easy and simple to make it so let's get started the yarn i'm going to use is this danish yarn and i always look for the yardage of the yarn instead of ply and all that because i never understand that so into the 50 gram of the ball of the yarn there is 133 meters of the yarn and i am going to use a four millimeter crochet hook so let's get started The method I always prefer to start the crocheting is that I pull the strand right from the center of the ball like that and then it's easy to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make First of all, of course, I'm going to make a slip knot like that, and then I will make and then I will make chain four one, two, three, and four. I made four chains and I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring like that and we have this tiny ring I'm going to make chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so I will make total ten double crochets into this ring one, two, three, four. I made 10 double crochets and what I'm going to do now is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. I'm going to skip this starting chain 3 and I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet like that and then I will make chain three one two and three and this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet i will place two double crochets into the same stitch one and two and two double crochets into each and every double crochet one and two I will repeat this pattern that I will make two double crochets in each and every double crochet all the way to the end. I started with 10 double crochets in my first round and I made two double crochets in each and every double crochet. So at the end of this round you should end up with 20 double crochets. I am going to skip this starting chain 3 and I will make 
I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is this one like that and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will make one double crochet into first double crochet and two double crochets into next double crochet one and two again I will make one double crochet into next double crochet and two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern I am going to repeat this small section I will make one double crochet into next double crochet and two double crochets into the next all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and you should end up with 30 double crochets uh, at the end of this round so this is our first double crochet I am going to slip stitch on the top of that and then I will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I will make one double crochet into first double crochet like that one double crochet into the next and then two double crochets into the next like that again I will make one double crochet into each of next two double crochets this one and this one and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make increasing every third stitch one and two and then we are going to make two stitches into the next one and two this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end I will make one double crochet into this one double crochet into this and then two double crochets into the next all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should end up with 40 uh, double crochets what I will do now is that I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 and make one double crochet into the same double crochet and one double crochet into each of next two double crochets <coughs> and then two double crochets into the next double crochet one and two now I will make one double crochet into next three double crochets one double crochet into next three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next I will make one two three and then one two double crochets into the next like that we are going to make increasing in every fourth stitch this is the pattern I'm going to repeat I will make one double crochet into each of next three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next all the way to the end I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 and then I will make one double crochet into first four double crochets 1 2 3 and 4 and then two double crochets into the next <coughs> this is our last increasing round that this is the pattern I'm going to repeat I will make one double crochet into next four double crochets and then two double crochets into the next one two three 
and four and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern i'm going to repeat that i will make one double crochet in next four stitches and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make increasing in every fifth stitch all the way to the end i'm <coughs> at the end of this round and now i will slip stitch into on the top of our first double crochet i will make chain three and then from now on it's very simple that we are going to make one double crochet into each and every double crochet at the end of last round we should end up with 60 double crochets so at the end of this round we are uh, we are going to end up with 60 double crochets as well because we are not going to make any um, increasings so simply make one double crochet in each and every double crochet to the end i will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then i will repeat the last round which i just made that i'm going to make one double crochet into each and every double crochets we are going to repeat this uh, this uh, uh, these rounds until I'm going to repeat this simple uh, one double crochet in every each and every double crochet round until I reach here and then we will start working on our dripping and uh, for this beanie until the length of my beanie is five inches i'm going to work this these rounds and then then we will start working on our ripping and the length of the beanie sorry length of the uh, ribbing is approximately one and a half inches so i will continue working on uh, simple uh, rounds and uh, until I, uh, the length of the beanie is five inches then i will resume my video again so I have repeated um, the round, uh, the simple double crochet round as many times until I got the length of the beanie approximately 5 inches. Now what I will do is that I will, we will, wor we will start working on ripping now. So what I will do is I will make chain 3, 2 and 3 and i will make this is our starting chain from the last round i'm not going to make any stitch into that this is our first available double crochet so i will make a front post double crochet into that and one more front post double crochet into the next like that and then i will make back post double crochets into next two double crochets first back post double crochet and second back post double crochet and then I will make one front post double crochet into next two double crochets the first one and the second one and then I will make one back post double crochet into next two stitches first and then second this is the pattern i'm going to repeat i will make one double uh, one front post double crochet into next two and then one back post double crochet crochets into next two all the way to the end i am at the end of this round what i will do i will skip this starting chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet then i will make chain three one two and three and i will make front post double crochets into first two stitches one and two 
and back first double crochets into next two stitches one and two this is the pattern I'm going to repeat I will make front post double crochets into all front post double crochets and back post double crochets into all back post double crochets all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet chain one two three and I will repeat last round I will see maybe once or twice because it depends if I get the length after I have made I have repeated last round once more then I will stop working but if I did not get the length the desired length of a length I want then I will repeat the last round two more times like I have already made once like last round and I will repeat it once or twice more until or until I reach the length of the beanie I want to and then I want to and then I will stop working on the beanie and I will um, cut the yarn and then we will start working on this part and this part the rest of the beanie then we will start working on that. So I repeated the last round two more times and now I have got the uh, desired length of the beanie I wanted. So now what I will do is that I will slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet and then I will cut the yarn and pull it to secure it at this moment I will tell the length and the width of the beanie because later on it will be a little bit difficult because of these parts it will be a little bit difficult to measure the uh, beanie so right now I will tell the length and width of the beanie <coughs> the width of the beanie is here approximately somewhere here uh, yeah. it's approximately eight eight inches and the length uh, length of the beanie is length of the beanie is approximately six and a half inches so now our beanie is ready now we are going to work all the uh, accessories we are going to attach on this beanie later on so let's work on uh, on the other parts of the beanie so we have completed our beanie now what we are going to do we are going to make these we are going to make two of them i have already made one the other one i will make on camera for that what you will do that you will start with the magic ring you will wrap uh, the yarn around your index finger and uh, middle finger like that and then overlap the yarn that there is it looks like an X here and then place your ring finger on this strand and then place your crochet hook under the first strand and over the second strand and then pull it like that grab the yarn and now you have your magic ring this is the magic ring we are going to work all of our stitches into that I will make chain 2 1 and 2 and I will place 12 half double crochets into this magic ring the starting uh, chain 3 uh, chain 2 does not count as our half double crochet so I'm going to make a 1 2 four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so I have made one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now I will put the shorter end of the yarn like that and then I will slip stitch not on the top of our uh, chain 2 but this is the first half double crochet I'm going to slip stitch into that and now what I will do is that I will 
make a knot with the shorter end and the longer end of the yarn just to make the magic ring more secure so that it does not unravel later on because sometimes it just happens so that's why we are going to make a couple of knots here then pull it tight and now what I will do is that I will make chain 2 1 and 2 and I will place 2 half double crochets into first half double crochet 2 half double crochets into the next half double crochet 1 and 2 and I will place two half double crochets into each and every half double crochet to all the way to the end. I will slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet, make chain two, one and two, and place one half double crochet into the same stitch, and then two half double crochets into the next one and two. And then again I will place one half double crochet into the next and two half double crochets onto the next. This is the pattern I am going to repeat. I will place one half double crochet into the next and two half double crochets into the next all the way to the end. I am at the end. What I will do is that I will slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet which is this one. Then I will make chain 2, 1 and 2 and what I will do is that I will make back post half double crochet into each and every half double crochet like that. Simply make one back post half double crochet into each and every half double crochet to the end. Join on the top of our first half double crochet and then which is this one. Chain 2, 1 and 2 and make one half double crochet into the first half double crochet and then we are going to make half double crochet two together we are going to make a decrease onto next two half double crochets like that and then into the next you should have five loops on your crochet hook pull through all of them then make one half double crochet into the next half double crochet two together Onto next, onto next two half double crochets like that. This is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end. Make one half double crochet into next half double crochet and two uh, half double crochet two together into next two half double crochets all the way to the end. So I stopped uh, recording my video and I thought maybe. I stopped recording my video for I stopped recording my video for a couple of seconds and I thought maybe I should uh, share the typical Danish weather with you guys. It rains all the time here. This is how it looks like from the windows uh, from the window where I'm sitting and uh, I thought maybe <laughs> you guys you, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So I am at the end of this round. What I will do now is that I will slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet which is this one and then chain 2, 1 and 2 and I am going to make half double crochet 2 together. I'm going to make an in a decrease of half double crochet like that and then half double crochet two together on into next two half double crochets as well like that so I'm going to repeat this pattern that I will be making decreasing every um, 
I'm going to make half double crochet two together into next two half double crochets and then, then into next we are going to make increase a decrease in each and every stitch all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round <coughs> and I will slip stitch on the top of our first uh, half double crochet like that and then I will cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn and then I will pull through the yarn to make it secure and this is the time this is the point where when you are going to stuff it with the polyester uh, filling just to be careful to not over stuff it because then it will become too big and too stiff so just the right amount of the stuffing will be the best like that and I think I got the amount of the stuffing I want maybe a little bit more here and try to press the stuffing into the uh, sides of the uh, of your work so that because it will give it a bit uh, uh, more finishing uh, more neat finishing look and then thread the needle and then what you will do is that you will simply zigzag like that all you are going to do now is that you are going to close this hole like that and then pull it as tight as you can it's okay if the stuffing is showing uh, here because uh, this is gonna be gonna be the down uh, side of the work so it's not go it's not going to be show when we are going to attach it on the beanie so nobody is gonna see that and make some random knots just to secure the end like that and then remove the needle and the both sides of the ears are ready now Let's see and now now we are going to work on this part of the beanie for that what we are going to do is that we are going to with the blue yarn I will make I will chain seven one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I will skip first two chains and this skip chains will be counted counted as our first half double crochet and then I will make a half double crochet into next five chains one two three four and five in total we should end up with six half double crochets because this starting chain two counts as our first half double crochet so one two three four five and six then what i will do is i will make chain two one and two and chain two in this round and in all of the upcoming rounds will be counted as, a, counted as our first half double crochet i'm going to skip this first chain uh, first half double crochet and i will make a double crochet into next one two three and four half double crochets plus i'm going to place a half double crochet on the top of our first starting chain two 
then I will make chain 2 turn around skip this half double crochet and make a half double crochet into next one two three and four and then half double crochet into the starting chain three we made at this uh, start of last round this is the pattern i'm going to repeat uh, you should end up with six uh, half double crochet one uh, chain two and five half double crochets i will repeat these rounds as many times until the length of this is equally from here approximately from here all the way to the top and then on the other side and then here when i get the desired length i will stop working and then i will resume the video again so i have i think i got the length i wanted like here so what i will do is i will cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn like that and then we will keep keep it aside and now we are going to start working with the black yarn and we are going to make these uh, wires or whatever you can call it and it's very simple we are going to make two of them so it's very easy and simple what i am going to do is that i'm just going to make i'm going to make just simple plain chains make slip knot and then simply make simple chains 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 I made 60 chains you can make as many chains as you want to and I'm going to cut a little bit not so long but a little bit longer tail of the yarn because we are going to sew this end on the beanie and I will make one more and after that after I have finished making the second uh, string what we are going to do then is that we are going to finish the beanie by assembling all of the pieces we have made and then we are going to sew those pieces on the beanie and there is only one thing left and uh, i will make that afterwards and then uh, after i have finished this then i will resume my video again <coughs> now what we will do is that we will chain nine First of all, we will start with the slip knot and then we will make chain 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I will sk skip first two chains, this one and this one and I will make one half double crochet into each and every chain one two three four five six and seven Like that and then I will cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn secure 
for the end and then I will thread the needle <coughs> and I will fold this uh, thing I will, fo I will fold it like that that the right side of the uh, work is facing toward you 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 are going to fold it like that and then we will just basically join the both ends of the work like that simply make stitches like that and there we have a ring like that what we are going to do now is that we will assemble our uh, beanie to assemble it first of all what we are going to do we are going to sew these uh, strings on this on this strap we made this one what we are going to do we are going to simply attach these on the both end of this strap or whatever you can call it like that simple as that and make a couple of knots just to secure it and we are going to repeat this um, this process on the both side of the of this strap <clears throat> I'm going to do the same on the other side like that and then I will weave in this end extra yarn and now we are going to fold this one in half and then place it over the beanie and then I'm going to So this end of the strap on the beanie you can attach the first uh, side of this strap uh, anywhere on the beanie the second one has to be parallel the first one is okay where you can just add it anywhere I'm sewing over this end black end of the yarn so that I don't have to weave it later on that. and then make a couple of knots here just to secure the ends of the yarn and then cut the yarn and then I will simply make a couple of more knots and now I will 
do same process on the other side of the beanie it has to be equally on the other side this is where i have attached here and i'm going to do the same on the equal uh, side of the other hopefully I, I, I i'm just trying to explain but it has to be like equally on the other side and then i will sew the other end as well And then I will make a couple of knots here to secure it. <coughs> like that. And now what I will do is. And now what I will do that I will start attaching the side of this strap on the beanie. For that what you can just uh, insert this end of the yarn into this under this uh, you can hide it under this strap and then you can just simply sew it over the beanie it doesn't has to be perfect I will do rest of the process off camera so that I can save some time. What I will do is that I will I will uh, continue sewing here on the top and then on the other side until here and then I will rejoin the yarn and then I will do the same process and uh, until here and then I will resume the video. And now I will attach these uh, on the beanie. I'm going to attach them here. I will thread the needle like that. And then what I will do is I simply, this is the round where we made our half double crochet in each and every half double crochet. Uh, that was where we made in back uh, back post half double crochet so what I'm going to do now is on the top of that here I will simply attach on the beanie like that I will continue attaching this on the beanie until I reach here then I will cut the yarn and I will do the same with this one on the other side of the beanie here and then I will resume the video again this is what we made we made uh, chain 9 and then we made half double crochet in each and every chain and then we joined at the end what we are going to do is we are going to insert these uh, what you call it strings 
into that inside that uh, hole we create it I'm going to insert it into that one and the other one also insert both of these strings into that and then what I will do is I'm going to thread this long side of the yarn and then thread this long tail of the yarn into the needle and then I will insert it inside this hole and then we will simply wrap it into in the center like that like two or three times and then I will make some knots and then I will cut the yarn and then I will resume the video when I have done that. So here you go, our beanie is ready. You can adjust the fitting here and it's ready and this is how it looks. Hopefully it was easy to make and follow. I have tried my best to uh, uh, be as much as detailed as I could so this is how it looks mm, thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all